Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Monday inside of FIFA 21 Ultimate Team. You know what that means. We're talking about a little thing called the Market Outlook. We're going to take a look at the market right now and where I think it could be going this week. What kind of content we could be getting as the Foot Freeze promo is kind of coming to a close. And first things first, we already have a lazy sale on a nice little Marcus Rashford that we bought tonight after rewards. By the way, check that coin total on the top left. That's kind of crazy. I'm going to break that up right now and uh, probably buy myself another Rashford to take care of that one that was just bought for me because tonight, again, with the rewards market stuff is getting low. We have a lot of stuff that was supplied. A lot of cards are being sold off right now. Again, it's a normal Sunday night, Monday morning in FIFA where a lot of stuff is really low. Out of packs cards, in packs cards, but there's a lot of stuff that we can talk about right now, right now relating to the market and what is happening and what I see with new people coming onto this game. And then of course, we'll go into the talk of a little bit of what's going to be coming out later this week with the foot freeze promo ending road to the final and freeze cards going out of packs we have a showdown game that's going to be played tomorrow and tuesday with acuna and coquelin uh villarreal and sevilla going at it but look at these prices man killian mbappe is nine hundred thousand coins this guy is down from Saturday, almost 100K. Crazy, crazy drop off on this card. Neymar is down a lot as well. This is that time of the year where this stuff really kind of, really, really goes down before, before we have team of the year. And a lot of people are selling these cards, I think, because team of the year is on the horizon. I think these guys will bounce back a little bit, but these guys are really low. And it's crazy how low they're getting. A lot of other gold cards have dropped too. Some of the stuff was lower though on Saturday. And I think with what you're seeing with some of the stuff is, uh, Furlan Mendy was 29,000 coins and then he, he's rebounded since from being in the low 30s up to like 32, 33K. I know a lot of people have invested in Furlan Mendy. You're feeling good, right? You're feeling good right now if you have this card because you're making some coins on it, right? I was looking at gold cards tonight because a lot of these cards rise up into the early week anyway. And Rashford is one of those for me that has not really risen yet and he's still pretty low. And... With what I'm talking about with a lot of new people being on the game, if you take a look at what cards are like up right now, a lot of stuff that has not been sold off too much are cards that people that are just now getting the game for the first time, that are maybe having, a, you know, not that many coins. Maybe they have like 100K, 150,000 coins they got from opening some promo packs. Players like... Um, those types of players are the ones that are going up right now. Now, this guy had a crazy rise this weekend. I think he kind of falls behind on the radar because it's just a card that isn't looked at that much. But this Pepe Team of the Tournament card, Team of the Group Stage Pepe, this guy was 44,000 coins last week before rewards. He is back up to 50K. He was 57K after rewards last week. This is a perfect example of a cheap card that somebody who is just getting the game would see as a very, very good option to put into their FIFA Ultimate Team. Another item, some of these old Team of the Week cards, like early on Team of the Weeks that are low rated, this Joao Felix, right? This guy was like 73,000 coins on Saturday night. He is up at around 80K now. He's risen up a decent amount because people know he is good in this game. I believe his Player of the Month SBC expires somewhat soon in the next like week or two or something. And uh, it's still pretty expensive, 440k for that SBC. Uh, it's up a decent amount because fodder is high at the moment. Um, but some of these, like, you know, Team of the Week 1 through 5 informs. I know there's a Team of the Week SBC that is out right now. This dropped yesterday. But I'm telling you guys, this SBC does not have the market impact that it used to have. Because first things first, it's not 81+. plus. They used to make... These Team of the Week SBCs, 81 plus, and they were somewhat good. Now, you open up one of these Team of the Week upgrades and you're getting a 76 rated player from a Team of the Week and a player you didn't even know existed, right? A lot of people don't get good stuff from these because they're not 81 plus anymore. Some people have been saying, yo, why would you want to buy out of packs cards and stuff that is low tonight on like a Sunday night or on a Monday morning that could possibly rise or it could possibly get hurt? by a tradable Team of the Week pack, which I understand where you're coming from, but I really don't feel like there's any cards out there that are going to get hurt that much because of a, a, a tradable um, 
a, a tradable team of league SBC because the pack weight is so low. Now this Thorgan Hazard got a major, major undercut on footbin, and this is 18 minutes ago, so it's probably, probably not there anymore. But some of these foot freeze cards are getting kind of low, and I like these cards because they're rare. Mane was like 2.2 mil this weekend; he's 1.99 right now, getting drop, getting panic sold a lot. Yeah, 217 on Friday. Uh, and I bet on Saturday even he was almost at 2-2, 2.2 on Saturday morning. So I think a lot of these cards, yes, they're getting panic sold, but I do think they will rebound a bit. Some of these freeze cards are very rare. Bernardo Silva was over 600K. He's down at 560. If I saw 550 on this, I would pull the trigger. This Lautaro is getting low. He was in 380. He's 365. Verratti was down. He was up at 135 at one point. He's down some. And then, of course, the guys that are in packs, St. Maximin. Dembele, right? These guys are getting sold a lot. Of course, they did get packed during squad battle rewards, but I think a lot of people were going to snatch up these cards into the first of the week because they want to try these guys out. I would not be surprised if St. Max goes back over a million coins like in the next day or so because I think this is a card that so many people want to try. Same thing with Dembele. Um, and they were only in packs for a few days. So I think these guys are going to continue to drop off a little bit this morning, but I think they will rebound later on in this week because they're just brand new cards that people want to try out. So if you have St. Max or, or Usman uh, and you want to try them out, I mean, now is not a bad time at all. Some of the other cards like Chiellini, you know, this kind of interests me. I, I feel like this is a card that I could see rising out of packs, but he's already up a little bit. This guy was in the 170s. It is absolute lowest on the weekend. So if we saw any sort of panic or anything that would make this card get back into the 170s on the PlayStation or the Xbox, let me check and see what he is on Xbox. He's 170 on Xbox. So, you know, in the mid 160s on Xbox, he was 164 yesterday. He's already gone up and he was in the 170s on PlayStation. So I feel like some people are investing in uh, Goosens, I've heard, maybe Chiellini. Um, some people are starting to invest in those cards. I would just say be very careful with that. Same thing with Road to the Final Set 3s. I know there are people that are investing in these uh, cards, and I understand why you're doing it, right? I understand why people are buying Cancelo, to be completely honest, uh, but I feel like this the, the rise that we have had on Cancelo today is it's kind of tricky, man. This guy was like 115,000 coins. He's now up to 135. I feel like there's a lot of over-investing that's going on here. I understand why people are buying this card up. I don't like it though. I really don't like it because yes, it's a solid card. Yes, he is going to get upgraded, but I feel like it's just going to be kind of like a Quincy Promo situation where it just gets too inflated and he gets panic sold. Now, if you're going to buy any of these cards, buy this guy, right? I would say this is one of the cards that I would say out of this whole set of Road to the Finals, I think Alaba is undervalued because of his links, because of the upgrades that are coming to him, and then even Wijnaldum at 420,000 coins is pretty low. Pogba's live card at 517 is pretty low. Insigne's card at 111 is pretty low. But I just think you can put your coins... At this point in the game, I think you want to stay more liquid, right? I don't think you really want to be sinking a lot of your coins into an investment like this when you could just be staying liquid. Unless you're going to be quick flipping... I just don't like it. I, I just really don't like investing in these cards too much. They are rare. During Team of the Year, these guys will be fantastic investments, right? During Team of the Year, these guys will be fantastic. Even if they're up a tiny bit until then, still keeping your coins pretty liquid right now, I think is the move in terms of a lot of these cards because I know they're rare and stuff, man, but uh, these cards aren't getting upgraded, upgraded until February. So Team of the Year is a big promotion. A lot of stuff coming out then. Now, these cards do go out of packs on Tuesday, and they do fluctuate around a lot, but in my opinion, I would be waiting to, to really, really buy up those cards until um, until during Team of the Year or after as you're trying to like maybe invest and buy into a team with some of that stuff. So keep an eye out um, for some of those. My controller just got unplugged, which is an L because this controller has been messing up on me lately, man. I like using the Xbox controller on PlayStation, but it's kind of been a pain lately. So, uh, all right, now we're working back again, but... Uh, yeah, right now I'm just kind of going through some of the team of the weeks on Footbin and looking for stuff that is low. And I like the freezes because they're new cards. They're out of packs. Some of them are. And a lot of people are liking to use them, right? But this week is going to be a fantastic week to fluctuation trade on this game. It's going to be a great week. 
to fluctuation trade, right? Guys like Pepe, guys like Diogo Jota. This guy's go. This guy goes from 63k to 68k like every single day, right? Looking through these teams and finding cards, Holland's special card as well. Um, a lot of these guys fluctuate a really high amount. This Mendy card bounces around. This Rafinha card bounces around. I was talking about him on him on stream. These cards are going to be fantastic to fluctuation trade with, and what that means is, let's take a look back at. Um, like, I think Jota is the one I want to use as an example. Fluctuation trading basically means, check this out on Saturday, right? Of course, party bag drops, he goes to 59K. But even yesterday, he was 60, he was between 62,000 coins and 68K multiple times in the day. He had 60K, he had 66, went back down to 62, went to 68. Really small flips, really small budget. But you think about all the new people that are playing this game of FIFA right now. Um, and they're buying some of these these new cards. That's why I was mentioning going back to some early team of the weeks. Some of these cards that you know you don't really think about anymore, they're probably bouncing around a decent amount in price. Look for good links, good nationalities, uh, good leagues. Right, this Bamba card twenty was twenty four thousand coins. He's down now down to twenty one twenty two. You, you find this guy on a snipe at 20K, you'll probably be able to sell him at 24 at some point during the week. That's a low budget trading method, but it's going to be fantastic, fantastic this week because people aren't doing much buying except for those new guys that are coming in and, and playing. Tixera at 116 is low. Lukaku is low. Pogba is low, man. A lot of these rule breakers are very cheap, um, which is interesting to me. Cost of 336. These guys are low again. Andre and, and Kamara, they're probably going to rise this next week as well. Both of these cards, man, both of these cards, Benjamin Andre, and uh, you know what? I'm probably going to go, I might snag up some Benjamin Andre and some Kamara right now. I know a lot of people packed these guys from the party bag SBCs, but these cards get bought up every single week as like a week in league rewards investment man because everybody buys these because they're french and because they have good links these are like the guaranteed risers every single week in fifa uh because of all the links that they get the league one special cards that everybody has so take a look at some of these cards right stuff that you know goes up every single week just watch the f i just got that at 53k man and there's nothing under 57 is that real is that real? There's 50. I'm going to buy this one at 55 too, because there's nothing at 58. And literally I could flip that card right now for profit. So that's the kind of stuff I would look out for that is low. It's stuff that always rises. Uh, what about this? That's the wrong guy. That is the wrong guy. This is the right one. Let's go. 58 K. All right. So he's got a little bit more supply, but <clears throat> excuse me. Um, I like these cards. I like these cards a lot. The rule breakers are rare. These guys are French. Th those are all the links that people are messing around with right now. So that's why I bought some Rashfords. I'm basically looking for a quick little rise out of the weekend, which is kind of what we see every single week on a lot of these cards. I'm going to see if I can snag this one like on bid right here for 53K. Yeah, well, I'll snag that for 53. Sign me up. That's pretty cheap. I'll be able to sell that at, at 60,000 coins, I think, later this week. Sign me up, man. So Stuff like that is what I'm looking at right now. There's still going to be deals as you're watching this video. Icon trading this week is probably going to be decent as well because, again, people just want to try out some of those new cards on the market. Um, you know, icons fluctuate enough on them, their own that they're good to, to trade with most of the time. So if you do like icon trading, you can definitely do some of that this week um, and, and keep your eyes out for some deal on those. But, uh, I, again, I would really focus on that low tier market this week in terms of trading and investing and flipping, because that's where a lot of people are buying right now. Like the Joao Felix, the Holland special cards, because those are kind of the guys that are on the promo on the cover of this game. And if you're getting the game right now, you're probably a little bit more of a casual player is what I would venture to assume. So this Holland at 154, right? If I saw an undercut at like 145, like a six, seven K undercut. This guy fluctuates to like mid 160s all the time. He's very rare. This guy's actually getting very rare on the market for whatever reason. Um, that's He's like a 160K card. And uh, he's a big name player that a lot of people want to use if they're getting the game. They're like, yo, this guy's only 160K. That's not bad for starting off their FIFA Ultimate Team. So that's kind of where I'm focusing at this week on the market. Now, content wise, all of this stuff or a lot of this stuff is going away upgrade packs are going away and it's going to get a lot of questioning this week 
is team of the year coming soon, right? Is team of the year going to be coming? I honestly don't think that we're going to see team of the year this week. Now, technically, what they could be doing this Friday is team of the year nominees because the FIFA Pro World 11 has been released. The nominees have been released for that as well. And I think that's what EA really bases their uh, stuff on for team of the year. So I would expect, in, in my honest opinion, I could see if they wanted to run team of the year nominees, they could do it this next week, starting on Friday, the first of the year, run nominees until the eighth and then run team of the year starting on the 11th. Now, I guess it is also possible that if they're not running nominees, they could release loading screens for team of the year starting on Tuesday or Wednesday of this week. And then they start team of the year on Monday. So we're going to start talking about team of the year related stuff just in case they do that. And that's going to cause a lot of panic on the market if they do release those loading screens, because a lot of people have sold off, but more people will sell if they do release loading screens like that. Now, I don't know if you guys remember last year, but the team of the year in FIFA 20, um, the loading screens were like, they kind of updated them every single day. They were updating them every single day with new stuff. Um, and we, we were trying to find like what exactly was going on. Here's a quick picture. If you guys remember this at all, they had, this was like one of the loading screens that we saw first at team of the year. And they were dropping like little hints. Right. And you know, they showed us the car design on one of these. And then they did this one with like the, the player moments and the flashback. So like they were giving us all sorts of hints and stuff during team of the year for the loading screen. So I would expect that again this year. And we'll probably start to see car designs added to the code. That'll be something to watch out for. And we'll talk about it more this week, but I don't think you have to be like that afraid of it or, or not afraid, but just like, I don't think you have to be expecting team of the year this week. I really don't. You, I don't think you have to be. We'll see. Um, but I'm going to list this for lazies right now. I don't think you really have to expect it this week. So um, other than that, honestly, this week is probably just going to be kind of chill. Probably people finishing up their icon swaps, which is what I need to do or doing other objectives. Um, but these guys allow these one day, 13 hours for Kappa. Valen goes away in also one day, 13 hours. And then icon swaps end with the season because the season ends this Friday as well. It's kind of behind my face cam again, but four days right there. Four days, the season is over. So that means those icon swap objectives are going to go away. We'll get new ones in there. And uh, it'll be basically starting a new season on January 1st of the new year. So that's going to be very interesting as well. Last week of FIFA in 2020, man, kind of crazy to think about it. But uh, that's the market outlook for this week, man. Kind of like big question marks. Are we starting team of the year? I don't think we will be. It might be kind of a quiet week unless they drop team of the year nominees. We'll talk about that and, of course, cover all the market movements here on the channel throughout the week. If you enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate the Ford Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.